In one of my recent live streams, which I do every Monday night at 5 o'clock Pacific time, I went over the product rule, and I went over this one specific example, which I want to show you again in this video, that really breaks down how to use the product rule formula and how you can apply it to basically any product rule example to find the derivative of a function. And this section of that live stream should really break down the product rule and make it very easy so that it's easy for you to take and do yourself later on. So I wanted to show it to you again. This is one of the formulas on my Calculus One study guide. It is free and available for instant download. If you want to grab yourself a copy, there is a link down in the description below and the pinned comment where you can get that yourself. But that's enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and jump into the example and I'll show you how to use the product rule. We're going to differentiate z equals w to the three halves times w plus c e to the w within parentheses. So important thing to point out here, in this case, uh, w is our variable. And then this c here is a constant, some unknown constant. So as a result of the fact that we don't know what that constant c is, it, it's completely possible that our answer is going to have a c in it somewhere as well. Um, but we, we do want to treat w as our variable here. And then z is the function instead of y. And then, you know, W is basically the variable instead of X, like you would commonly see. But either way, the process is exactly the same. So just like we did in the last example, and like I said, product rule is uh, one of the topics covered on my Calculus One study guide and my complete Calculus One package. The links to both of those are down in the description. Go check those out. Uh, they're all available instantly for instant download. So uh, you can start using them right away if you'd like. But the first step in doing these product rule problems is to first decide which thing you want to be your F, which thing you want to be your G. And like I said, it doesn't matter which thing you pick as long as you're making sure that uh, the F and the G are the, you know, the two things that are being multiplied together. So in this case, we have our multiplication, our product right here, where we would have this being one of the product terms and this being the other product term. So basically, as long as we're calling either F or G, w to the two thirds or to the three halves i'm sorry and the other being w plus c e to the w we should be good so we can just say w to the three halves here and w plus c e to the w now the next step once you have decided on your f and your g is to find f prime and g prime so to find the derivative of w to the three halves we can do power rule again we'll bring our power down in front giving us three halves here keep our w as w and then subtract one from the power three halves minus one is the same as three halves minus two halves which is the same as one half so this new power is going to be one half and then the derivative of this the derivative of w the derivative of your variable by itself is always just going to be one and then kind of like we ran into in the last example the derivative of e to the x or e to the w is just e to the w right and whenever you have a constant times some function the derivative of a constant times a function is the same as that same constant times the derivative of the function so as a result the c coefficient is just going to carry through and then the derivative of e to the w is just e to the w so the derivative of c e to the w is just c e to the w okay now once we have figured out f g f prime g prime all you have to do is cross multiply across do a little like x switch multiplication where you do the derivative of one times the original of the other derivative of one times the original of the other so we're going to get w to the three halves times one plus c e to the w now it is important when you're doing this w times all this stuff this term here you want to put all these in parentheses. So treat them all as if they're in parentheses when you multiply them with each other. So we could do this as well. In that case, since it's only one term, there's no addition within there. It doesn't make a difference. But if it helps you to always remember the parentheses, you know, in cases where it would need to distribute, like it may have to here, um, I would just recommend putting parentheses around all those. Okay, so we've done this one times this one. Now we need to do the derivative of this one times the original of the other. So we'll do three halves w to the one half times all this right here, w plus c e to the w. Okay, and then once we've done our two, you know, across multiplying, then we just add these two things together, just throw a plus sign in there. 
Okay. So now from here, what we could do is we could distribute all this um, and then simplify from there. Um, what we could do instead though, which may make things a little bit nicer, uh, it probably isn't really gonna make too much of a difference actually. Yeah, I don't think it really will make that big of a difference. Um, but what we can do is both of these have a W to the one half in common. So we could actually factor out W to the one half from this. If we took a W to the one half out of this term, we would be left with just um, W. Because if you have uh, two things with the same base multiplying together, you would just add their powers. One half plus one is three halves. So we would have W times one plus C. That was sloppy. C times E to the W. And then plus, if we pull a W to the one half out of here, we just have uh, three halves times W plus C E to the W. Okay. Now from here, we could distribute these in here. So distribute the W in there, distribute the three halves in there. And keep in mind, this is all Z prime, right? Our original function was Z, so this is all Z prime. So W to the one half, distribute our W in there plus C W E to the W plus distribute our three halves. So we get three halves W plus uh, three halves C E to the W. And then there isn't really any more simplifying we can do here. There's nothing that these all have in common. We don't have any like terms. Actually, yeah, we do, sorry. Uh, yeah, we definitely have like terms here. Um, so first of all, we have a W plus a three halves W. So those could combine into a five halves W. And then C W to the E W three have C, these aren't going to be able to combine, right? This one has a W, this one doesn't. Those aren't going to nicely combine. So we're just going to be left with each of those being added in here as well. And then we still have our W to the one half out here. And that's going to be our derivative. Um, doesn't look like there's going to be any more simplifying we can do there that's going to make things really any nicer for us. So we'll go ahead and leave it right there. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit that like button down below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon too while you're down there. So you're notified of all my new videos and when I go live each week. If you wanna keep learning about some other derivative topics, just go ahead and click on one of those videos over there and I'll hope to see you next time.